What's up, Internet? So some of you may or may not know that one of my hobbies is amateur radio. And a big part of that is being able to get your antenna up in the air so you can get good reception and transmission. So I've seen some PVC pipe antenna masks uh, on the Internet, and they're not very stable. So I've come up with a different approach that I think will work better. Hopefully you guys will be able to reuse this. So up here, i got a 2-inch section. got a 3-inch pipe section a four inch pipe section and I have a, a six inch pipe section also for a total pipe length of 40 feet I can I can put a one inch section out here at the top uh, at the top of the two inch and get myself another probably eight feet or so but one inch PVC pipe is pretty flexible so I'm not going to stick it out the top of that very far the two inch is about as flexible as I want to get so one of the most common things I see is somebody will take a piece of, say, two-inch pipe, some three-inch pipe, they'll put a coupler on it, and uh, just glue this on the end here, and glue that on this three-inch pipe. But the two-inch pipe is only going to go in this coupler that far. Three-inch is only going to go in that far. And it's going to be a really flexible joint. It'll probably break. So here's my new approach. I printed these bushings. This, uh, this goes on the end of the two-inch here. It goes inside the three inch. Inside this, these reducer uh, joints, there's a flange inside there to keep this two inch pipe from going past uh, the middle of this joint. So I cut that out with a rotary file and it looks kind of like this. This is a two inch to four inch uh, coupler and there was a flange inside here. And I cut that flange out so a piece of two inch pipe will go all the way through and stick out the other side. Now the purpose of being able to slide it all the way through there is I'm going to overlap these joints. So this two inch pipe is actually going to be uh, inside this three inch pipe, 16 inches. So from say here to about there, that's going to be the overlap. This bushing is going to get pushed down into the three inch pipe on the end of the two. So it's going to be down in here. That's going to keep that end of the pipe centered in the 3 inch. And then this is going to keep the 2 inch centered at the top up here. Should give me a much stronger joint. Also, I don't have to glue the whole thing together. Ideally, you should probably print these out of ABS. This is PET. But if it were ABS, I could just PVC glue this right on the end of this pipe. And it would be just as permanent as if I glued a PVC connector on the end. The only reason I recommend these be made out of ABS is uh, because you can glue that and then when you shove it down in this pipe you don't have to worry about it working loose maybe sliding down a little bit which will let this end of the pipe uh, fly free which will let this joint wiggle back and forth and that'll make it sway in the wind the idea is to make this self-standing I want this mast or tower whatever word I should use here I want it to be freestanding with no guy wires but that's yet to be seen. I know it's going to get kind of heavy when it's all put together, but that's the idea. So overlapping this, 16 inches, overlapping uh, down here where the 3 meets the 4. I'm probably going to overlap that one 20. And then the 6 to 4, uh, I'm probably going to overlap that 24. I'm just guessing. You know, I don't, don't have any really specific reason for that. But if it turns out I need more overlap, this section is not going to be glued to the three inch pipe only this section is going to be glued to the two inch so i can slide these back apart i can change them later uh, i can run coax up the center here so i don't have coax running down the outside of my uh, mast and up at the top i've come up with a fairly neat way to make a, a rotating mast so down at the six inch end of the pipe which would be out there another 10 feet uh, at the 6 inch end of it, I can rotate the antenna by turning a small tube, a uh, half inch PVC pipe that runs all the way down the center of this inside it. And I can turn it and uh, aim my yet to be built uh, 7 element Yagi for 2 meter. So that's the plan. Let's get busy. With the flanges cut out, this will slide all the way up the pipe. And then we're going to glue this here. Then I've got this bushing that goes inside this three inch pipe. So these are overlap 16 inches. And the same with the three, into the four, into the six. 
which will give me a total height of currently 38 feet. We did on the two inch pipe, we're gonna cut this flange out on the three inch adapter. This connects to a four inch pipe. Now you can see how the bushing is on the two. It's inside the three. It's a pretty snug fit. Probably doesn't need to be quite that tight. I did prime the pipe with some PVC primer just to kind of smooth the end of it up. But um, that's all going to get shoved down to about here inside this pipe. And then this will have glue applied to it here. And then this will get slid down to here and over the end of the three. Should make an incredibly solid joint. Sections are together all the way up to my line right here. So I'm all the way in. I'm ready to put some glue, primary glue on here. Slide this joint or coupler down over this joint. That'll keep this top end centered. The other end is down inside this pipe. I think that's going to be really strong. We'll know in just a second. All right, I got the coupler all the way down to where the glue started, so should be glued well. So far, it feels solid. I'm going to go stand it up. Okay, so feels pretty good. I mean, it's got some wiggle up there. It's a two-inch section, but I don't feel any rattling. And the joint, the joint's fairly, fairly stable. I mean, I don't see any bend or sag in it. Uh, of course, it's glued there at the top and then glued down about, or bushed down about 16 inches. I believe that's going to be a really good solid joint. I won't know a whole lot until I get the four, or the four inch section on and then the six. That's going to give me, I think, 38 feet. I'm going to have to go double check and subtract out the overlaps, but so far so good. Three, well, four sections on. This is the four inch pipe. You can see this bushing I've got here. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a second, but you see how far up the pipe it is. This is the four inch to three inch joint, and this is the three inch to two inch joint. And again, these overlap. This is not just a, a connector here that's this reducer that's just gluing these together. This two inch pipe comes in to here, three inch pipe to uh, thereabouts, it's 20 inch overlap. Down here we've got a 24 inch overlap. And so far it seems really solid. I can pick it up, there's not a lot of sag in it and the joints definitely don't move. So uh, now back to this, I was having trouble finding a coupler like that that was kind of stepped, tapered. So we got a four inch to three inch bushing. I cut the ridge out of that so I could slide all the way up the pipe. Then I have a six inch uh, coupler. So this will slide up here, go on this. That'll all get glued together. And then this will give me a flange to glue my six inch pipe section to. It is getting pretty heavy. It's close to uh, uh, probably about 80 pounds right now. The six inch section is probably gonna add another 50 pounds to it. It's a pretty heavy pipe. It's pretty thick walled. Uh, also, all the pipe is solid core. It's none of it's foam core. I don't really know if one's better than the other. I think for the six and the four, it definitely needs solid core. Could probably get away with the foam core on the three. The less weight you have up there for the wind to move and make it sway, the less stress it's going to put on the four and the six inch pipe. So we'll see how it all plays out. Getting ready to glue on the six inch section now.